Dear students, I welcome you to chapter 3 of mathematics that is squares and square roots. Hi Jeremiah, how are you? You're fine, I'm also fine. So, first, let's see what are squares. To understand it, let's do one thing. Let's take first 10 natural numbers. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, let's multiply 1 by 1. We get 1. Multiply 2 by 2, we get 4. Multiply 3 by 3, we get 9. Multiply 4 by 4, we get 16. Multiply 5 by 5, we get 25 and so on. Here, these products, that is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and so on, are called squares. We can define the square of a number as the product of the number with the number itself. I repeat, the product of the number with the number itself. So, here we can say the square of 1, that is 1 square is equal to 1. The square of 2, that is 2 square is equal to 4. The square of 3, that is 3 square, is equal to 9, and so on. Jeremiah, I would like to ask you one thing. If you are asked to find the square of a number, then what will you do? Exactly. You will multiply the number with the number itself. So, now let's take a question. Find the square of 25 and 30. Hi, Rebecca. Can you give me the answer? Good. Right. Here, to find the square of a number, we will multiply the number with the number itself. So, when we multiply 25 by 25, that is 25 square, we get 625. Similarly, when we multiply 30 by 30, that is 30 square, we get 900. So one thing that we need, to, we need to know is that the square of natural numbers are known as perfect squares. I repeat, the square of natural numbers are known as perfect squares. Now let's move further. Now, let's see one thing. How to know whether the given number is a perfect square or not? For this, let's take some examples. Let's consider a number 196. To check whether 196 is a perfect square or not, we will have to do the prime factorization. I hope you know what is prime factorization. So what it is? Here, we take only prime numbers as factors, which are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. We take only these numbers as factors. So, let's start the factorization. Here, as you know, 196 is an even number. So, we can divide 196 by 2 which is the smallest prime number. So when we divide 196 by 2, we get 98. So again, it's even number, we can divide it by 2. So when we divide it by 2, we get 49. Now this number is not divisible by 2. Let's take the another the next prime number, which is 3. It is not divisible by 3. Then let's take another prime number, which is 5. It's again not divisible by 5. Let's take another or the next prime number which is 7. Yes, it is, 
it is divisible by 7. It is 7, 7 is a 49. And finally, 7, 1 is a 7. So, the factors of 1 and 6 is are 2 into 2 into 7 into 7. A perfect square number is always expressible as the product of pairs of equal factors. In this case, we have two twos and two sevens. Both these factors are present in pairs. So as they are present in pairs, so this given number, that is 196, is a perfect square. Simple. Let's take another example. Now let's consider a number 9075. Let's do the prime factorization of this number. So 9075 is divided by 3. We get 3025. This is now divisible by 5. When we divide it by 5, we get 605. 605 is divisible by 5. So we get 121. Now it's not divisible by 5. Let's take it. Let's do it by 7. No, it's not divisible by 7. Then let's do it by 11. Yes, it is divisible by 11. So 11, 11 is a 121. And finally, get okay, finally 1. 11 is 11. So the prime, or we can say the factorization, the factors of 9075 are 3 into 5 into 5 into 11 into 11. Here we have two fives, two elevens, and one three. The five is in pair, the elevens or eleven is in pair. Here three is a single factor is and is unpaired. So this given number that is 9075 is not a perfect square. I hope you all understood it. Let's take another example. Let's consider a number 441. Let's do it prime factorization and do when we do it when we do its prime factorization we get its factors and its factors are 3 into 3 into 7 into 7. So we get we have two threes and two seven. That is the threes are in pair and the seven is in pair. So as they are in pairs, the factors are in pairs, so this given number is a perfect square. Yes, good. Let's move further. Let's do exercise 3. Question number 1. Using the prime factorization method, find which of the following numbers are perfect square. Let's take first number 11,025. We have then its prime factorization. So, its factors are, or the factors of 11,025 are 3 into 3, 5 into 5, and 7 into 7. So, these factors are occurring in pairs. So, 11,025 is a perfect square. Simple. Let's take another number. 1,176. So, when the, factor, the prime factorization of this number is done. The factors of this number are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 7. Since two factors are present, in, are in are, are unpaired, so it cannot be expressed as product of pairs of equal factors. So therefore, it is not a perfect square. Simple. Let's move further. Now let's do question number two. Show that each of the following numbers is a perfect square. In each case, find the number whose square is the given number. Let's take the number one thousand. 225. Let's do its prime factorization. So its prime factors are or its factors are 5 into 5 into 7 into 7. So 1225 is product of pair of equal factors. That is the factors are in pairs. So obviously or therefore it is a perfect square. So 5 into 7 the whole square we get 35 square. The square of 35 is 1225. Simple. Let's do question number 3. 
what least number should the given number be multiplied to get a perfect square number in each case find the number whose square is the new number let's take the number 3675 let's resolve it into its prime factors we get its factors are 3 into 5 into 7 into 7 so here one factor is present singly so this number is not a perfect square number in order to make it in, into a perfect square number we need to multiply the given number should be multiplied by 3 so the least number which should be multiplied to get a perfect square is 3 so the new number will be 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 7 to 7 which will be 105 the whole square hence the number whose square is the new number is 105 simple now let's do question number four by what least number should the given number be divided to get a perfect square number in each case find the number whose square is the new number let's take a number 1575 Resolving 1575 into its prime factors, or we can say prime, doing prime factorization of 1575, we get its factors. Its factors are 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 7. Thus, since the one number is present unpaired, a single, it is not a perfect square. Thus, to get a perfect square number, the given number should be divided by 7 so when we divide it by 7 it becomes a perfect square the new number will be 3 square into 5 square we can say 3 into 5 the whole square which means 15 square simple good